the final U.S. troops left Afghanistan yesterday, bringing the 20-year war to an official end. But where will all of those refugees who fled the country go? New Jersey has begun to receive the first of what could reach as high as 9,500 Afghan refugees. In a letter to the president, the governor of the Garden State wrote this. The state of New Jersey stands ready to welcome our Afghan allies. Joining us now is the governor of New Jersey, Phil Murphy. Governor Murphy, thank you so much for being with us. Uh, tell us about what went into that letter and what the plan is to do with those potentially thousands of Afghan refugees headed to your state. Good to be with you, Amy. What went into it uh, simply is New Jersey wants to do its, its fair share and be a partner to the federal government and to do the right thing, uh, to stand by the Afghanis who were standing by us for the past 20 years and their families indirectly if frankly also as a an homage to our troops uh, some of whom uh, many many of whom gave the ultimate sacrifice over the past 20 years um, and and that that's what went into our raising our hand the the department of defense and 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 state are running the process uh, at the moment uh, the afghan refugees have begun to arrive at the joint base mcguire dix lakehurst uh, in Burlington County and Ocean County in New Jersey, uh, in our southern part of the state. Um, as you rightfully point out, the number is expected to grow meaningfully. Um, and uh, we will do our part in being a, a good and strong partner for, for our federal government in making sure that these folks are, first of all, that they're safe, uh, that they're stable, and then obviously work uh, in whatever way we can uh, on the long-term plan of where they end up resettling, et cetera. Governor, you made an announcement yesterday that your state will not extend the federal pandemic unemployment benefits that are set to expire next week. I'm curious what you're anticipating the fallout will be for the nearly half a million people in your state who are set to lose those benefits they've been receiving. Yeah, it, it's not something that I say with any amount of joy, for sure, because there are a lot of people, as you rightfully point out, who are still suffering from the awful fallout of this pandemic. But I don't believe at this point any American state has said that they're going to extend those benefits. At least in New Jersey, it is also a, a prohibitive price tag, a billion to a billion and a half dollars per month. Uh, I also think it's a mistake as a, as a nation to have a patchwork quilt. This is something that I think if, it, if there's consideration to be given, I think it needs to be given at the federal level. In the meantime, we'll continue to do everything we can for those who are unemployed, the small businesses that employ them. We've put 30 odd billion dollars on the street for unemployment benefits. Uh, we'll put a ton of money in, into the small business community and we'll continue to do both. And Governor Murphy, give us a sense of what it's like there in your state right now in the state of New Jersey with this Delta variant. How are you faring right now in this new surge? Yeah, it's a great question because uh, it's not as good as it was in May, but I don't think I'd trade our hand with any other state right now in America. I think we have the lowest percent of ICU beds COVID uh, occupied of any American state, uh, but we do have over a thousand folks in the hospital. Uh, my guess is it gets worse, Amy, before it gets better. I don't think it gets worse in the, anywhere near what it got, please God, in the spring of last year. Uh, but uh, but we'll, we're going to stay all over it. We're a highly vaccinated state, one of the most highly vaccinated states in America. So we're going to be all over continuing to vaccinate people, get the booster shots when they become available, uh, and do everything we can to keep it as safe as possible. And all of this, this big surge coming right at back to school time. And I know that all personnel in New Jersey schools uh, must either be vaccinated by mid-October or agree to multiple testing. Uh, you've also mandated masks in schools, saying it is not a polite suggestion. What are you anticipating uh, for this school year? I'm sure a lot of parents are concerned. I think, Amy, the package that we've put out there, exactly as you've suggested, Everybody's masked from day one, and by mid-October, all staff, educators and staff, vaccinated and or subject to multiple, up to multiple testing per week. We think that package, taken as a whole, achieves our number one principle of back to school, and that is safety uh, for everybody involved. The second principle is we, we really need to be back in school, in person, Monday through Friday, because the fallout from the learning loss over the past year and a half has been 
significant. Uh, we have the number one public education system in America. Uh, but even within that context, the learning loss has been overwhelming. So we got to safely get back in, in class together, but be back in person Monday through Friday. And, and that's our objective. And that's how we're going to start the school year. Well, we know you are dealing with a lot. Your plate is full. So we certainly appreciate your time being on the show today. New Jersey Governor Phil Murphy, thank you so much. Thank you, Amy, for having me. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.